Yo, what's up guys, Diesel here, back with some final gear, and today it's going to be kind of a different video. I'm going to showcase the no SSR account that we started this previous Monday on the stream. And what I'm going to do is kind of go over the day one progress I had, tell you my thoughts on things, my thought process, and what I did to get there, where the account's going, and just kind of do that. So if you like this sort of video, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll start making some stream clips and kind of putting together a video like this once a week or once every other week or something like that. Before we get started with that, I just wanna say, do be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this, as not only do you get the notifications, but we do have a $20 giveaway going for 2,000 subscribers. And so do be sure to check that out and keep your eyes for that giveaway. Also, I do stream over at twitch.tv slash dcellgaming every Monday and also sometimes on Thursdays. That's where we're doing the no SSR challenge account. And do be sure to check out our official Discord. All of the links to that is down below in the description. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just dive into the game here and see what our no SSR account is looking like. Now, dudes, for full transparency, this is the, technically the start of day two, as I was too tired to record this after I got done with everything on day one so what i've done is i went ahead and started a recurring mission the slowest missions on this account that way i build up those fondness levels and i can start getting those crystals you can see i've already gotten 5600 crystals and about 530 gold uh, 530,000 gold so we're sitting pretty good here what i have decided to do on this account is pretty much go all in on my evelyn so on day one i'm able to get her to 23 and as you can see she is four star already and that is because i was able to get her fondness level all the way maxed out to level 10 and i used these three sequence coins that i got from the daily the weekly mission to go ahead and push her and you can see she is just almost at five star i'll show you how i did that in just a bit and uh later on in the video her skills are three 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 for now and once i get some more modification and i get some skill uh textbooks you know we'll be buffing that up as well my battle power for day one sits at right around twenty two thousand. of course you know it's a little more if you take in my team too but my main units are twenty two thousand, and most of that's coming from my evelyn because i'm going all in on her so i went ahead and i beefed up her the the free ss SR gear you know the level 30 gear that you get I went ahead and buffed all that up to level 30 and that's where we're sitting at with the stats the big thing the big problem I see with this account already is we don't have access to SSRs which means I don't have snowy and I don't have an easy way of ignoring armor okay so that's gonna be really big going forward that's why I'm gonna go all in on Evelyn she can get to UR she can start doing double damage and things like that and she'll be a decent pick because uh, out of all the SSRs, it won't be too bad until I can get a blade. And of course, blade will be really, really good. So the other units that I have in mind that I wanna be focusing on our Natasha. Natasha is going to be a decent support. Rebecca is actually a pretty good taunting style uh, unit, so she can taunt units away from people, so I'm going to be kind of focusing on her. She might not be in the main team, but she definitely will be in the second team as I will be building her up because that could become useful in the future. Solveg is a staple. I'm going to have to build her up all the way because she's going to provide that big, big shield and damage reduction. I'll probably be going into Esmeralda as my first healing kind of unit because I'm not going to really be able to get Viola or Schmilly right away so we got to think about units on what I can use so those are the units at the moment that I'm going to be using and building going forward this account will be a lot of fun there it, it does present some unique challenges with the game and one thing I didn't mention is I went ahead and I used the the wedding ring that you get I went ahead and used that on Evelyn, even though her uh, ceremony bonus isn't that great, it's only a damage boost of 10%, but if she's gonna be the main unit that I'm focusing on for right now, then I felt like that's a pretty good idea. I'm still deciding whether this is gonna be a completely free to play account or not. Uh, the reason why is because I know there's gonna be some units in the future that will might be paid crystals. So we might do a little bit of that for this account, especially for um, like Viola when she has her custom mech. I'm assuming that's gonna be a paid crystal uh like shop item so we'll see how that goes i might keep this as a free to play account i'll um i'll let you guys kind of decide that as we go forward so how i was able to get everything maxed out for evelyn and go ahead and get those is i went ahead and bought these advanced 
crystal packs. So if you go into the weekly pack, you can see that you have a one-time purchase every week of the advanced flower packs. If you buy all of them out, you should be able to max one person out and get some sequences for them. However, I don't really um, suggest this for new players as you're going to miss out. You could you could use those to go ahead and get a bunch of people to level five instead of one person to level 10 and you'd get a bunch more crystals out of it. However, I don't even really suggest doing that unless you're just really, really impatient because if you just start building up fondness level items, you can get free 200 crystals every five levels of fondness for a for a pilot and you're gonna get a lot more free crystals out of it that way and then you don't have to waste you know the 400 crystals or so the 500 crystals that you have to do to buy out these packs this is really only for it's a technique only for whales um but on this account since we're not really doing anything we're not buying any ssrs or anything like that i figured there's no real reason not to go all in on evelyn and spend those crystals because we're not going to be really spending crystals on this account i of course got my black arc uh as high as possible for now which means i do have the first rank all the way up uh let's see uh, properties over you so i do have the new recruit uh stats all the way and i'm one stat into the trainee mercenary so i'm working on that as well and basically what i've done is i went in i did five levels of the esmeralda instance i went ahead and i did all of the story missions for the uh, personal evelyn uh personal story evelyn so if you don't know you can actually go through all of these on day one the story missions because they provide you with the units for the story missions not the survey missions and you can get extra experience you can bump up your mercenary level and you can get um evelyn and coral for free once you get all of that finished so even though we're not using evelyn and coral i use that to go ahead and beef up my um you know mercenary mercenary level so i can go ahead and start doing more in the game now I didn't have time but you can also do this with the personal story Margaret and you can start working into shadow of Corboro now I haven't started shadow of Corboro yet because I do want to wait until um, I'm higher level so I can really kind of um, maximize the, the equipment rewards but I might go ahead and do shadow of Corboro around day three or four but with this being day one I don't think shadow of Corboro is really necessary and obviously I can't do any of the daily missions except for conflict zone so so yeah it is what it is you can't do combat until 30 and you can't do supply prep until 50 so the only thing we're doing right now is basically daily missions we're, we're just trying to get to level 60 and you know we'll go from there but uh, that's the state of our day one no SSR account so uh, do let me know what you guys think about this account like I said I can already see there's gonna be some issues especially with some of the later bosses and national war and some of the challenge miss uh, missions and you know solar solar is gonna be pretty tough but I do find it fun and it, I, there's already some units I'm thinking about using that I haven't used on my main account like Rebecca for example um, just to utilize that that uh, taunt that she has and you know Afra on the battle menu on the battle pass might be good if I go in and get her tank however I don't I'm not sure if I want to keep this account free to play or not I think I, I think I might want to do that but let me know in the comments down below like what do you guys think about the no SSR account what do you think should should it be completely free to play should it not be completely free to play um, just let me know what your thoughts are down below but hey guys that's gonna be it for today's video just a quick little video showcasing what we've done on the no SSR challenge account so have a great day guys be safe out there and as always, I'll see you in the next one.